Giselle was born on March 17, 2002 at a Bruce House benefit at one of the local clubs here in Ottawa. What happened was they took five people from the audience and put, brought them to the back, put makeup on them, and then threw us on stage after once we were done up. And out of the five, I'm the only one who have remained and became a drag queen. And I grew up in the residential school, which of course, as a lot of Canadians know, that it was not a very good time for Aboriginal people. So I came, I grew up with that, um, I guess, upbringing where people thought that I was, I was not good, I was nobody, and that I wouldn't amount to anything. Mm. And then for me to move to Ottawa and to find Giselle, luckily find Giselle, and she helped me build my self-esteem and brought me to the, be the person who I am today. I'm the actual first Aboriginal to win Miss Gay Ottawa and Queen of Capital Pride. And I still hold the title of Lifetime Queen of uh, Miss Gay Ottawa Lifetime Title Holder. And one of the funnest things that I enjoy of being a drag queen is going out with the girls. And we usually make a production of it because we usually start early in the evening and we all meet at somebody's house and all bring our makeup, our outfit. And what we do is we get, our, get ready in stages. And then once you do your foundation and you put on your powder, and that's what we call stage one. Without all the fancy makeup, your eyes don't pop, so that's what our aim to do is to make our eyes pop out and shine. Mm -hmm. So that is stage two. Our third stage is the contouring, which we contour our cheeks, our jawline, our nose, just to make ourselves more feminine. Mm -hmm. And then the last uh, is we do our lips, with lip liner lipstick and lip gloss. So you have to use all three because that's part of the stage. <laughs> and the top and glory of the stage is stage five is the hair. The hair is always the top and glory. So it actually made me prouder, proud of who I am today as a person and a visual as a Canadian.